Spyro is a platform game developed and published by Infogrames during 1995 and 1996 for the Sega Mega Drive, SNES and Game Boy video game consoles, and for Windows and DOS. A Sega Game Gear version was planned, but scrapped, though a prototype version with the full completed game was leaked online. The game is based on the Spyro et Fantasio comic book series. It features the adventure of Spyro trying to save his kidnapped friend Count Champignac and stop his arch-enemy Cyanida from making robots rule the Earth. The game was noted for its good graphics and for being faithful to Spyro et Fantasio the comic book series, but due to the relatively high difficulty, most reviewers only recommended the game for true fans of the comic book series. Gameplay. Spyro is a platformer type of video game where the titular main character with the same name can walk, run, jump and duck. In order to reach some areas he can dive and slide on the ground for a distance. Also, he can shoot with a gun called the Micropulsor that is earned in the fourth level of the game. Spyro can swim in the underwater levels apparent in the game. Spyro has a health bar that allows him to take six hits before he loses a life. If the player has extra lives left when losing a life, the level restarts completely. If there are no extra lives left, the game is over. An extra life is earned by collecting 50 Spyro hats, which are scattered throughout the eight levels. Collecting a heart refills his health bar by one point. While diving under the water, Spyro can only hold his breath for a certain amount of time. The time underwater can be extended by collecting oxygen bottles, a password feature gives the player the option to continue playing the game. However, there is only one valid password that always restarts the player in the middle of the game. The game supports three levels of difficulty, easy, medium and hard. There is also a sound test feature in the game. Topic. Plot. Spyro, a journalist, and his friend Fantasio visit New York for an international conference of scientific research. When the pair arrives at the conference, Count Champignac, their longtime friend and one of the inventors at the conference, has disappeared. It turns out that Cyanide, a robot and one of Spirou's longtime enemies, has kidnapped the Count. With Count Champignac's inventions, Cyanide's intention is to make robots rule the Earth and make all humans into slaves. While Spyro tries to save Champignac and stop Cyanida, Fantasio gathers intel in order to help Spyro. Topic: <laughs> Reception. The Mega Drive, SNES, and Game Boy versions of Spyro were reviewed in several video game magazines in France and Germany. It was generally well received, most critics noting the graphics and fluid animations in both the console and Game Boy versions. In addition, the soundtrack and varying gameplay fared well with critics and the controls of the game were noted for being precise and easy to use. Most critics also considered the game to be faithful to the comic series. On the other hand, the difficulty level of the gameplay was criticized for being too high. Also, due to the inclusion of only one password to save progress some reviewers meant that too many levels had to be replayed to get to the point in the game where the player had been. In the end, most reviewers recommended the game for hardcore fans of the genre. B. 